Hello, World Wide Web. Welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm GW Pomacher, and look at this gaggle. <laughs> uh, we are hanging out with everybody. Just pop, pop a hand up as I go over your names. Okay, ready? Robbie Cox. All right, Grayson Miller. There she is. JC Lane. Jennifer Wedmore. Sherry Lynn. There's the trouble right there. <laughs> Cassidy O'Connor. That's right, guys. Uh, again, I'm GW Pomacher, and we are the Hanging With Web Show. We are at Space Coast Book Lovers in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Amazing convention this weekend, everybody. It's been a blast. Yes. It's been a blast. Yeah. Um, this is the world of Black Hollow. This is a shared universe project, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, who wants to tell everybody what the world of Black Hollow is about? I, I don't even know who's here with me anymore. This is just, <laughs> well, there's a better than average chance that after the interview's over, none of us will be able to stand up off That's the floor. Right. Yeah. So this, this could be a slumber party. We're, you're just going to stay until we're able to get up. So, okay. So, Robbie, tell you what. Tell, oh, nope. Okay, go ahead, Cassie. Okay, okay. Good, Cassie, go. Um, so it actually started out, we were writing um, in an anthology for Unusual Shifter. So I did a gargoyle, and I ended up falling in love with the character. And so I talked to Sherry Lynn, and we decided, and let's make up this town and just make it all paranormal as you know as crazy as we can make it and then we just said why not invite our friends to write in it as well and now it's become this really huge thing that you know takes a lot of coordination and everything else but this is yeah, yeah. there's a lot of writers here coordinating yeah. a lot of different things so you wrote a gargoyle shifter i did okay I did. and uh so who's responsible for the sort of the layout of the town here um, Sherry and I did a map mm -hmm. together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sherry, what, 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 uh, who did you bring to the party? I brought a mummy. You brought a mummy? Yeah. And he's a clothing designer because, you know, he knows cloth. Come on. That's oh. kind of cool. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on. That's oh. awesome. That, you, you, that hurt. <laughs> you hurt me now. Come on. Right, Robbie, what, 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 uh, what is your... Uh, mine actually deals with leprechauns who run a bank into the Rainbow Bank. <laughs> <laughs> the whole town is very ironic. This is, yes, yes. The in the town of irony. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you got? I mean, Grayson. I have dragons and a siren, and the dragons own Draki diamonds. They, uh, <laughs> their fire makes the diamonds? Yes, their fire right? makes the diamond. Oh, I got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and then to dragons and sirens. Sirens. Because that's going to be a good combo. <laughs> well, yeah. she sent wait, the wait. killing. She sings them in, and then psh, it's a bad day. Uh, okay, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? I wanted to do something a little different, so I did zombies, but they're not reanimated. They're so cursed humans. Something a little different. Yeah. <laughs> Are you making fun of my mummy? You know when you. <laughs> You have a town where the Yeti owns the ice so cream shop. So predictable. Okay. All right. So they're not, they're not living dead, per right. se. They're cursed people. Yeah. They, as they age, they end up resembling the zombies that we know in popular culture. But they own the Italian restaurant, which they're is just called gruesome. the Rotten Meatball. Yeah, Rotten Meatball. The meatballs. Rotten Meatball. Kind of fit with what they did, who they're named after, you know? The Rotten Meatball, they own the Italian restaurant, yeah. and, and as they age, they get more zombie like. Yep. Yes. So, sort of like the rest of us. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Well, let's, let's, what do we got here? Yeah. Um, Hold on. We got to get you a mic. Okay. Um, we so got to pass this stuff around. I didn't. I was so over-equipped when I started today that I didn't, I didn't know what I was going to do with all this stuff, and now I'm passing around a mic. So. Um, my character's a necromancer that owns the mortuary. <laughs> so. No wonder yours aren't undead. <laughs> yeah. You had to watch out for her. You had to watch out for her guy. Uh, le you got leprechauns running the bank. Leprechauns okay. running the bank. Now, leprechauns are not guns. known for letting us withdraw. They're, no, they're, they're more... They're, uh, these are more of a friendly, high-drinking. The Clericons are actually the Didn't see bands. that coming, did you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, YouTube, I know if you're on YouTube, you're on the rest of social media, too, and you're on Facebook, which means you read Bobby's, uh, Robbie Cox posts, and, and so you saw that coming. Jameson was there. It's going to be this. Yeah. 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 There it is. Right. There it is. Wait, 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 wait. I, I have a note here that's coming. It says the Yeti owns the ice cream shop. Yes. Oh, it gets worse than that. Oh, yeah. Our oh. mermaids run our fish and ship shop. <laughs> that's cannibalism. Yes, it is. That's the best part. Wow, guys. It's <laughs> irony. Um, the whole time. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go around real quick, okay? Um, I, I can see what the most fun parts of writing a show <laughs> That's pretty obvious. Um, 
<laughs> but what is what are the challenges in writing in a in a shared universe? Let, let's go, let's go ahead and start over here. Um, just making sure that you, because mine came towards the end, okay, of the first round, making sure that I represent their characters um, as they should be represented. In each one of your uh, tales here. Are the other characters yes. Oh, yes. interacting yes. from the other books? Yes. yes. Okay. So you're trying consistency, trying to keep yeah. their characters. True to their, character. their voice. Yeah. Okay. Their voice, Robbie, how about you? What's what's been the challenge writing in this kind of a shared universe? This you is see, a lot of writers. You see one guy and five females. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, you collect girls. <laughs> the uh, I think Drunk the biggest. Yeah. <laughs> I think the biggest challenge is the different writing styles of everybody. The different yeah. pacing of everybody. Some are more detailed than others. Mm -hmm. I'm a very detailed person. Oh, he's They're constantly not. yelling so, at all of us. So, well, what does this person look like? A uh, person. I don't so know. So much of the work that you do on your own centers around the interpersonal relations and mm -hmm. interactions of people. Mm -hmm. um, what's, it write, what's it like to write characters in your book that are interacting with all of their characters? Well, I think a lot of the times, well, with me personally, uh, I'm... Their characters well, you guys come are the bankers. As, Everybody's coming in. Well, their characters come in as the, as like side characters. So okay, they pop yeah. in, you set to the restaurant, stuff like that. And uh, my characters are still the main focus on my stories. And I think each of them do the same thing. Right. Mm -hmm. We mention them. We have we know their backstory, so we can mention it in the stories to help other people go find it. But um, I really don't, as long as I don't do something that they didn't intend on doing. Okay. So like, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty like good. when they created the world, I wanted to know, okay, what did the restaurant look like? And, and like of course, that. men and women do have very different perspectives on life, so you yes, are writing right. with a yes. gaggle of um, young ladies. Um, that's well it. done. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Sherry, how about you? What's the challenge of writing in a shared universe like this? Well, we have a Bible for the places, Bible for the people, and... Um, Trying to get everybody to put all their characters in there and <laughs> all the places and yeah. keep it up to date so the next person can yeah. start. Logistics. Can be very complicated. Logistics. Yeah. Trying yeah. to get everybody to know what everybody else is mm -hmm. doing at that moment. Because right? we're trying to release a book every two months, one of us. Uh -huh. And it's like, so we're writing as they're writing and we want to read it and keep so we can. How many books things. are we up to right now? Uh, you just seven. did seven. Seven. Right? I did my seven. seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you did, you, seven released yesterday. No, this eight. Is, is it eight? Because well, you did two first, you did the prequel, prequel count, yeah. so eight oh, books. So, oh. this, so you can call this the eighth one released yesterday at the book launch party. Oh, awesome. Cassidy, how about you? Challenges? Big um, challenges? Don't well, say I, my name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he puts our chat on in, on mute, that's a yeah. problem. No. <laughs> 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 he doesn't like all those little alerts going We're waiting, We're waiting, always waiting, waiting. waiting on Robbie to yeah. reply. That's <laughs> I just, I, on behalf of Robbie and the rest of us <laughs> of the male of the species, Putting y'all on mute is sort of just what we do. It's, it's Only on personal. Facebook we can get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> they, they don't even know until later don't, on. Yeah, don't That's right. Yep. So, so I kind of ha do the more high-level stuff. So I have um, I try to make sure the website stays up to date. And then we have the Facebook mm -hmm. page. Um, and then we created this uh, reporter in town, and he interviews the characters before their books comes out. So I write that blog as him and then post it. That's everything. cool. So, yeah, yeah it's just I kind of keep the more high-level stuff. And it's just making sure, hey, guys, can you think of some? So we had a, a pet wash that happened. Um, so we, we you know, ran an these, ad for that. What do these people have as pets? <laughs> the Yeti. The Yeti. Yeah. He, tried, he wanted his nails cut, and they didn't want to let him into the pet wash, but they let him finally. And we have and the werewolves. Werewolf. They yeah. rolled around in something, and she was absolutely like, no. No, you are well, not getting near my water. I can, wait, I can see werewolves as pets in this case because all of the actual shifters are more like exotic shifters. We have well, no, they have, everything. Yeah, we have They everything. own the butcher shop. Yeah. But who does? The werewolves? The werewolves do. And they go to the pet place too. Well, they, well, no, they wanted a bath because they got smelly. Thank God our pets can't own shops. <laughs> oh, my okay. Grayson, how about you? Your biggest challenge writing biggest in a shared universe? Biggest challenge would just be, for me, it's layout. Like if I'm trying to write walking down the road, I have to make sure everything is there. So I can't tell you how many times I went back to the map. this map yep. to figure out where we were and mm -hmm. where we went. go. That's cool. Yeah. Um, what do we got? <laughs> <laughs> That's my fault. Yeah, I'm cheap. I would only buy two mics. I think um, because of, like Robbie said, the writing styles, but some of us write a lot more erotic than others. <laughs> and we wanted to be and, and you guys, You guys already know Grayson, right? Yeah. I yeah. think trying to match everybody so it's the same kind of Nobody levels. Nobody in this entire conference can say the word Dick, Dick without thinking about Grayson. <laughs> I don't know why. Or Julie Morgan, who's yeah. back there, causing trouble behind the camera for a change. Um, so, yeah. So I think you're just matching that same matching level that, of heat. 
because we don't really want a whole lot in this world, but you have to have some spice. So hey, I spiced mine down, and then I was told and it, it was still, still hotter than you the rest of them. So I brought it back. And, 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 and these guys were like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah." That was tame for me. She went from three X's to two, and we were trying to get down a little bit. We're going for like we're a trying X, to go for R. Yeah, let's get R, R to X minus. Yeah. 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 She's like going, I'm already down to like X, X minus. <laughs> <laughs> How much more can I do? The other I mean, issue if is. You don't put any sauce on the wings, they're just wings. Yeah. <laughs> you either have no sex or you have sex. There's no in between. There's no in between. Thank you. Because we're guys. That's right. There is no in between. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, the other uh, issue? Neither Robbie or I are commenting on that last comment at all. No, so yeah, yeah. Never again. <laughs> We're also outnumbered. We are also outnumbered. Yeah. Please keep going because you have to. The other issue is somebody's characters likes to take pot shots at everybody else. Oh. <laughs> Wait, <you're laughs> that was a dead giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my next book's out in December and he's going to get it back. <laughs> oh, okay. So challenge we're, at, we're at book number eight now. Eight, yep. eight now. Who's who? You brought the this you brought came the eight yesterday. Yep. Yesterday, okay. Yep. So uh, nine comes out. In what order here? Who's who's going? I'm next, on? and I'm Here. writing a merman and a hippocampus. <laughs> She's all excited. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be awesome. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. A hippocampus, like that's a part of the body, not an actual. Thing. <laughs> it's like a. There. Are, wait a minute. Never mind body parts. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to weigh in here. Uh, okay, what are you writing next, Robbie? Uh, I have the October story. It's going to be on the story of a jack-o'-lantern, Stingy Jack. Stingy Jack. Stingy Jack. Actual folklore. All right, who's next after Robbie? Uh, that would be me in December. In December? I'm doing um, the a witch who owns a candy shop that comes from um, originally Salem and was kicked out. She was out. kicked out. Who has Ki- bad yeah, chocolate. you got a witch who got kicked out of Salem. Yeah, she's got bad chocolate. He bad says. Chocolate. Those brownies are going down. Bad I'm chocolate. just saying. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a long, long talk. <laughs> <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of brownies bring about this? <laughs> who, who, who's, next? who's next? I'm in February. You're in February. And I'm doing King and Hitchcock that are introduced in this. Okay. And then they will have their love interest, who is after somebody said yesterday a nun. I <laughs> might actually me. do a nun. Yeah. Because yeah, one yeah, of them like, it's the king of hell. The king so of hell. His mate so he needs a nun. A nun. <laughs> yep, just to torture her. And, and, and you gave it to her to write? I yeah. Know. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't even know the word of the. She didn't even know what the word "nun" means. <laughs> <laughs> all or none, and she's got all. Uh, and that brings us over here. Yeah, okay, hold Mike. on. We're gonna. I got mics. Oh, Whoa, we got mics. I'm sorry, I'm next to April, and I'm thinking I'm gonna be doing a cupid. Cupid. Mm-hmm. She got all sweet right after your nun. Yeah, no. <laughs> your nun was deflowered, and she went for Cupid. And she went for Cupid. He may have awesome. Had to do with it. We know. <laughs> this is a crazy town. These are crazy people. These are hanging with Web Show's favorite authors, and we love you guys for coming back on the Thanks show, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. We're gonna drop links down below so you can check out all the books that are already out, and look for the schedules and the websites and the social media presence, mm-hmm. so you can find out what's coming up next. We've got to wrap it up. We're gonna thank our partners and friends at Famous Faces and Funny Space Coast Comics, Indie Originals Live, Jay Bauer Art, Josh Bauer over there is a fantastic artist, Cogler Emporium for some of our set pieces back here, Embellish Effects for keeping cosplay Michael happy enough to not drive us crazy. Foxwood Wine Company for our amazingly comfortable chairs, which we don't get to use. Because <laughs> I, need, I need 187 more chairs, please. Uh, and our great friends at Hearts Helping Others of Central Florida and Krypton Radio. Thank you guys so much for sharing these videos on the World Wide Web. You, please share these amazing authors. Check out these books. Amazing projects when these guys come together and do something fantastic. We have been hanging out with Cassidy K. O'Connor. We have been hanging out with Sherry Lynn and Jennifer Wedmore and J.C. Lane, Grayson Miller, and of course, Robbie Cox, who has the distinct privilege of trying to be the guy standing between all of these ladies. He loves it. He loves every minute of it. You know he does. <laughs> Guys, it's the world of Black Hollow. Check out the books. Check out the links. Log on, tune in, and see who we're hanging with next. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs>